Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone emails not working on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your mail app and pull down here to refresh to make sure that it's syncing the latest emails that you're getting in your inbox. Now, if that didn't work for you, go ahead and swipe up just like that and close out the mail app completely and then pull down the control menu here, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it back on. That does a quick network refresh, so if you're having issues connecting to the internet, it should resolve those issues. And while you're at it, make sure you're connected to either your Wi-Fi or cellular data, as you'll need internet connection in order to be able to download your emails, and then relaunch the mail app, pull it down one more time, and see if you're getting your emails now if you're still not getting email the next thing you want to do is a forced restart on your iphone so in order to do a forced restart you want to locate the volume up and volume down so you need to press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and once you see the apple logo you let go of that button so that's known as a forced restart so i'm going to do volume up volume down and finally i hold that side button just like that and I wait till the screen goes completely black. At that time, I'll let go of that button. As you can see here, I'm holding that side button and it's completely fine and the phone will turn back on again automatically and I let go of that button. And what we have done is shut down the phone completely and reloading the software. So if it's a software related issue impacting our mail, not working on our iPhone, hopefully it will resolve that for us and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be safe and once you're back on go ahead and open up the mail app and hopefully it's working now if it's still not working the next thing you need to check is in the setting of your iphone simply go into your cellular ensure that cellular data is turned on and if you're using wi-fi make sure you're connected to a wi-fi network now the next thing you want to check down here is in the settings for the mail here you want to check a look at what accounts you have so you click on it and verify all the accounts that you want the mail to come from or there for example i have icloud and a gmail account now let's say if you had maybe another email account you need to ensure that you add that by following the steps to add it here by signing in to it if it's not showing up now if it is showing up you want to click on it and verify that the mail here is turned on for it you can turn it off briefly and then turn it back on as well so that it can resync as well. Now, after you did that, of course, close out and reload again. See if the messages or the mails are coming through. Now, if it's not coming through, the next thing you want to do is delete it and re-add that account again. So in order to do it, you'll delete it. Like once you delete it, it's going to go back to this page and you're going to click on add and then click on for Gmail, right? You sign into it again. And the reason why you do that is sometimes if you recently change your password or the device is in sync with Google account anymore, re-signing will help you reload it. And once you're signed back in, of course, make sure again the mail option is turned on for you so you can get the mail again. Now, the next thing you want to check is that if you have your account, it's turned on with the mail and it's still not working, go to your setting of your iPhone, go to general iPhone storage. Now, you need to verify that you have enough storage available because when you download mails, on your mail app it requires a little bit of space available as you can see here i have 110 gig available but in a scenario that if i used up all of my storage your mail might not lo load correctly in order to free up some space you can delete some long format videos photos maybe some apps and messages so that you have some free storage available in order to download those mails now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing to do is check that in your setting of your phone in your battery make sure that low power mode is turned off when you have low power mode turned on like that a lot of things like fetching mail will not work correctly so you need to turn that off and of course make sure your phone is at least 20 percent or more charged if you're going to be turning off that low power mode now along with that is you want to also check out in your settings cellular option here under cellular data option where you have data mode ensure that you're using either allow more data on 5g or standard if you do not want to use low data mode because again that will reduce functionality of phones and getting updates like the mail itself so first two options are good not the third one when it comes to retrieving 
mail in your mail app. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing to do is go back to the main settings option here, go to general, go all the way down here, it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on that, click on reset, and you need to do a network reset. What a network reset does is it resets things like connected Wi-Fi, any Bluetooth connected devices, but it will not delete any of your personal data. And it takes about a minute or two to do and it's important to do that because if you're having issues with the connectivity on your iphone it will resolve those issue which means the connected connection to the internet will get resolved and you'll just have to connect to your uh, wi-fi or ensure that cellular data is working again on your iphone now if that didn't work the last thing to do is go into your setting of your iphone go to general software update and see if there's a software update available if it is available it will be listed right here and you want to go ahead and update your phone to the latest iOS version to fix any bug fixes or software glitches that may be impacting mail not working correctly. And after you update it, hopefully it's working. When you do update, a good thing is make sure that you have at least 30 to 45 minutes on your hand to do the update. Make sure you're connected to, again, Wi-Fi or cellular data. And your phone is at least 50% or more charged in order to successfully do the update. Now, after you have done that, let's say it still doesn't work with the mail. Most likely, there's an issue with the mail server. If you are using a work phone or school phone or organizational device that has their own mail server, you need to contact your IT professionals to ensure that mail server is working correctly on their end and the mail servers aren't down as well. So hopefully, after you follow all these steps, I hope the video helped you guys resolve your mail not working on your iPhone. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. And for future tips and tricks on your iPhone and other iOS devices, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.